Okay, this is going to be kind of a summative experience and something that's hopefully going to push a lot of you forward uh, into using this software. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to kind of target a few of the creative people. You're all creative, but a few of the creative people I've met that aren't necessarily in my class or not in my class um, that are realizing how close they are to kind of really getting into this 3D world and not even quite understanding the or having seen the I would call the top ends of this which is the visualization in augmented reality um, which uh, I demonstrated to my class earlier this week um, I'm going to use all the tools that you know do a little bit of photo draping even uh, off and I'm going to use a set of software packages here it will probably run 40 minutes it's Sunday morning I got other stuff to do but the reality here is I want you all to see and, and start connecting the engineering with your creativity. And so I've started um, in AutoCAD already um, drafting the way we know. I've drafted something. If you notice here, that's a unit circle. If I list that, I hit LI for list. It's on the object layer. Its radius is 0.5, so it's not a unit circle. It is a half unit circle but I'll just go with that so this was then a box a unit box if you would list okay that's one on a side and what you see here is a series of golden rectangles and so as I try to edit some of this stuff in the golden rectangle um, which provides for us this number phi which is one plus the square root of five over two, which leads to Fibonacci series and all kinds of interesting things. So one can rift, if you would, on phi, but understand that hereby declaring, at least in my classes, the standard old nothing box doesn't go anymore. We're gonna work at tying formally and informally a lot of your learning to some fun math um, fun math meaning the computer is going to solve a lot for you but your eye has been trained through millennia so the golden rectangle um, is this rectangle that if you kind of take the rectangle and then make the perfect square then you have another perfect rectangle the golden rectangle and it kind of goes down through here but all we're going to do with it right now is we're going to have some things drafted here and we're going to use right now we've drafted on layer object we're going to make now make a new layer and i'm going to show you of course you are all know how to do make a layer command with the click i'm going to show you the value of minus l a n for new and then just my regions all right so i'm going to make a new layer i'm going to say c for color red regions C for color, red, regions, set, regions. So right now, if I had, and don't forget to keep your toolbars up, so minus toolbar, remember there are a series of minus and underscore commands that you should know because when they get screwed up, you get lost. Minus toolbar draw. We're going to bring up the draw toolbar. We're going to right click and any toolbar, I've left my right click in any toolbar and bring up the modify and then even right click and bring up the layers remember there are more than one layer toolbars and eventually you're going to want to really use it so one of the great commands what I'm going to do right now is make a series of regions and I'm going to check my drafting and the way this drafting was done was using of course add a loaf minus an rp which is knowing how to use the at command line offset didn't use any fillets here haven't used an array polyline edit haven't really done that break makes things useful region is a great thing and you can do a region a number of ways usually you're going to convert a polyline to a region but realistically if you got good clean line work you can use the b poly command and so right now i'm going to type b poly it's the same as the boundary command we don't teach it to you because we're afraid of you putting lines on top of lines. So right now you've kind of finished out and got everything correct. Your object snaps are correct. 
And right now you can skip a step by saying you're going to do island detection or not and say you're going to make boundary, you're going to pick points and make regions. The reason you're going to do that will become clear in a second. You're going to pick an internal point and we're just going to start going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Even in here you'll see close by twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Even in here, you'll see 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. It already has one, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. I think we've got them all, 33, 34, 35. There's probably more there. But you see now I have made regions, and realistically the sum of those regions, and we'll see in a second, the sum of those regions, it looks like we've missed one right there perhaps, maybe a region in there, so we might want to do one more region. I'm sorry, B poly, region, pick a point right there and we probably now have a region. We have a region for every one. Now we do that and you realize here they're on a separate layer. So let's go ahead and look at one of the more important things you're going to learn to do in terms is that is to isolate layers. And so what I'm doing right here, right click in any toolbar, bring up another set of toolbars, take you to layers two. Again, this is the start to combine the creativity art and take you from that 2D line work into the 3D world of animation or the dragon or the gargoyle on your shoulder that you'll know with AR Media. The animation of 36 independent controls that's available in SketchUp and Sketchy Physics. The kinds of things that are available in Inventor. And the kind of things that you can do if you combine knowledge of a raster image processor like the GIMP which is free or Photoshop, which a lot of people have access to, especially a lot of people have some knowledge. That heads into video. All these are freely accessible, but what we're gonna to learn to do right now through this set of different layer commands is right now we're gonna to learn to isolate a layer. We got layers and layers too. One of the things you'll see here along here, layers off, layer, layer isolate. That's a really nice one right there. So right now we've layer isolate. Remember we learn in layers to make, use the layer states manager. So we can click on that and say a new layer state and give it a name like just regions. Okay. And that's gonna, Get us to the point we can always get back to this where it's just regions. Now I'm going to, at this point, realizing that a larger screen becomes at least a positive thing is a big thing, but we're going to do it on this particular screen now by saying V ports, and we're going to make two viewports. The opposite of V ports is V ports single. V ports single. And you can save these configurations, again, V ports with an S, two vertical. When you have a couple of screens as you're dealing with your Photoshop and the like, you want to do this. So right here, very often, we want to do a V point, one comma, one comma, one, because you want to learn to think in terms of 3D vector-ish. So we've got two things here now, and we're going to zoom into here, whoa, we're going to double, when you double click in a particular window it makes it the current window so I'm going to double click in here zoom extents and I see that here and now we're going to use our extrudes and I'm going to go ahead and stop this so I don't have to edit it down 
That's 10 minutes. We'll keep going in a second. 